guys running a bit of her blogging paradise using a uh, playing situation. It's getting late and it's been really overcast here for a bit, but it's all good. Guys, the world as you know it completely feeds on, feasts on, is fueled by fear, manifest as guilt, and sub just not supplanted, just fortified by victim mentality. So when you face fear in your mind and you release it, and it's all in your mind, everything's in your mind. It's never not in your mind. It's always in your mind. And you release that fear. It's really unpleasant and uncomfortable, but you'll no longer make yourself a victim to the government, to political parties, to politicians, to all the silly stuff we see on social media. And then you'll gradually become confident and clear, and you will migrate out of this illusory worldly life. Oh, it's got more souls again. That's nice to know. If you don't face your fears in your mind, you will see yourself as a victim, and you seeing yourself as a victim will become the prey, P-R-E-Y, of government, politicians, movements, words. Like somebody could say a word to you, and you'll see yourself as so much of a victim in your mind because of the fear in your mind, that it will hurt you. You have to really think about that. A word or somebody saying loud or something loud. It's just when you really think about you, an unlimited mind with unlimited power, it's amazing what you really are. But if you don't face fear, then somebody could say something from their mouth and this just infinitely powerful creature, being, <laughs> will feel really hurt and then get angry and lash out. And that's, it's not sane. It's not sane for someone to say to another person, whatever it is, and the other person feeling ashamed, angry, embarrassed, feeling really hurt, and then lashing out in anger. When you start really thinking it through in your mind, you'll say, that's not sane. I'm an adult. Somebody says something and I feel really hurt. I have to feel like I'm a victim to words? That doesn't sound sane, right? doesn't sound like you're confident and you're thinking clearly. But don't be angry or upset at folks that get hurt by words because that's your fear in your mind. It's uncomfortable. you got to get deeper. But the more you get into your fears, you're going to understand, and they're only in your mind because you see the world based on what's in your mind. When you face, feel, and release these fears, nobody can victimize you. You'll feel super confident. You'll feel super clear, and no matter what's going on in that just silly worldly life built on fear, guilt, victim mentality, again, you'll migrate out of it into loving circles, peaceful circles, prospering circles, and you'll see what's going on there and the illusion of it, because fear is an illusion, it's not real. And since you know it's an illusion, you won't get involved in it. And you'll never see yourself as a victim again. You'll be the victor, the winner. Not so much the hero of your life, but you'll be a generous, humble servant that I keep counting on my fingers. And you'll just love the journey. You'll be truly helpful, which is the highest form of love and happiness. And then, yeah, if you want the worldly success, that'll follow too. Face the fears in your mind. You'll never be a victim to anyone or anything, including words, which is really one of the highest levels of victim that the ego creates and you'll be at peace you'll feel really good you'll be helpful you'll inspire others to take control of their mind by facing their fears and we will raise the collective vibe out there until next time enjoy paradise all